Good morning, everyone. I am here to walk you through a quick tutorial on how to make a pie graph using Stata. Again, this uh, set of video tutorials is for the Stata newbie, new to the software. So if you have a lot of experience with it, you might find this video a little bit underwhelming. Um, but if you're new, then you're going to find it just right. So today we're going to make a pie graph. So I'm assuming that if you are making a pie graph, you probably have some data that you want to work with. Um, but I'm going to pull up an example data set. So I'm going to go grab one of the, oops, grab one of the example data sets. I like this one that's about blood pressure. Oops, so I'm going to use that one. So as you can see, I pulled up my blood pressure data set and you can see some of the variables here. You know what, just, just for the fun of it, let us summarize this data just so we can see what we're working with. So it looks like we have um, 240 observations uh, or patients and then we have the sex recorded, their age group, um, when, I don't know what that means, something about their status, and then um, their blood pressure. So let's get down into making a pie graph with this data. So let's make a pie graph of their age group. So if you would like to make a graph using the command center right here, um, it's pretty easy. You can just type in graph. Sure, thank you. Pi, comma. Um, then you want to type the word over. I'm not. 100% sure why you type the word over, but you do. So I just give it, I give the data, I mean, I give the software what it wants, and then you type in the variable that you want. So we want to make a graph of the age group, so we do that, press enter, and voila, there you have a quick pie graph. I love this because think about how long it would take you to make a decent pie graph by either hand or even in Excel, it kind of takes a while. This I typed in four words and I get a pretty decent pie graph. There's another way to do it, which um, I feel is a little more intuitive, but you may disagree, so I'm gonna X out of this one. So let's say you're like, okay, I wanna make a pie graph. You can actually just go up to graphics, click, and look, it has all these different graphs and such here that you can use. So say we're looking for a pie chart, like this. You click your category variables. So again, I wanna do age group, you're going to leave this one optional because a pie chart will only show one variable. And most likely you're going to want to title your graph. So let's title it, this graph is awesome. And we can put by me and we submit. There we go. There's our graph. Now this may be a little bit difficult for you because a lot of times you're looking to make something that can be printed in black and white, and this is probably not going to print very well in black and white. So it's very simple to change the colors. You can just go in here, click the, oh, sorry, you have to actually start with this little button here called the graph editor. So you start graph editor, click your sliver of color, and you can change it. So what I love is that they have this gray scale, zero all the way up to 16. Um, and 16 is actually the lightest, zero is the darkest. So let's pick maybe two, apply, and you can see that is pretty dark. In fact, I, I think it's too dark. Let's go with four. Ah, yes, that's good. Okay, we'll do the same here. So again, you click the color. Last time I did grayscale four, so let's do maybe seven. There we go, that will print very nicely. And then we'll do this one. Let's do 11. Ah, perfect. Beautiful. So there is your basic graph. Um, a lot of times you want to kind of emphasize one piece of the information. So let's say I really want to emphasize these um, 30 to 45 years old. So I can actually click the slice and there's this beautiful thing called explode slice sounds very exciting maybe not as exciting as it sounds but it's still pretty cool so you explode the slice which means it's going to kind of pop it out of the graph and you can even choose how far you explode it so let's let's go very huge 
go big or go home, right? So let's see how that looks. Oh my goodness, that's so far. So let's try very small. Mm, not quite there. Let's do a, a medium large. I'm feeling that. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So now I have exploded my slice. So these are pretty much the basics. You might also want to change the way that the variables look. So if you just you can click the name itself, you can add like years old. Wow, there we go. Yeah, I like that. You can do the same for the other ones. And so on. So you can actually save the graph as it is. So you can save as, do your shenanigans there, and you will be able to save that graph. So hopefully that kind of just shows you the basics on how to start with the graph. What I recommend is that you just kind of go in here and you start playing around with all these buttons just to see what they do uh, before you try to make your official graph. All right, that's all for today. Have a good one.